guys, so I'm back. I have kind of a fun video. I've seen a few of these going around YouTube and I happened to be in TJ Maxx. So I figured I would make a video myself if I could find some good stuff. And boy, did I find some good stuff. So, this is all like makeup beauty products that I found at TJ Maxx that are like higher end stuff that you would find at like Sephora or Ulta. So it's super exciting that you can find some of this stuff at TJ Maxx just because it can be a little bit more affordable for those of you who want to get into the high end makeup but don't exactly have the budget for it. Some of it was still a little bit expensive but when you look at the original price compared to the price it was marked down to, it's not too bad. So I didn't get a ton but I did get a good little haul and um, one of the items I actually got to give as a birthday gift to somebody, so yeah. The first item I got is an OPI nail polish, and this is their Infinite Shine line, and this is in the color Can't Be Beat, and the Infinite Shine line is like a gel polish line, but it's not the kind that has to go under UV light. It's just one that's supposed to look like a gel polish and last a little bit longer. So this was only $4.99, and I think that regularly it's probably like $8 or $9. So this is the color. I've been actually wanting a good fall red, so when I saw this color, I thought it was perfect. I don't have any nail polish on, so I'm gonna swatch. I'll swatch everything that I can, for you guys, except for, you know, the stuff I may be giving as a gift. Yeah, that's a really pretty fall red color. They also had like Essie nail polish and Butter London and Ciate, so I've seen that kind of stuff there before, but I haven't necessarily seen some of these makeup brands before. So something else I got was by Marc Jacobs, and you guys, I love the Marc Jacobs makeup. It's so good, at least it works really well for me. It's kind of expensive, but I'll splurge every once in a while. And this isn't anything super huge, it's just a small size, travel size thing, but it's a mascara, it was $4.99. It's not too bad for like a travel size mascara, especially from Marc Jacobs. And I haven't tried this one before, I like the Velvet Noir, but this is the Omega Lash, so I haven't really tried the Omega Lash. So I already have mascara on today, but I'm definitely excited to try this, and if you are interested in knowing how it works, leave me a comment, and I'll make sure to reply back and give you my little mini review of it. Okay, so they had a ton of lip products by MAC and Estee Lauder, and Buxom, Bare Minerals, I think, maybe some Stila. But I ended up getting one by Bite Beauty, and this is Luminous Cream Lipstick, which I've never tried. This one was only $6.99, which is a really, really good deal, I think. Don't know how much they are regularly, but they're at least $15 and up, I would say. So this is in the color, I honestly don't even know how you say it, Vigne, Vag. No, it's V-I-G-N-E. And I actually really want to try this on. So this is a really pretty, rosy kind of color. Let's see. That's so pretty. I'm just going to try it on. I don't have any lipstick on right now, and I really want to try it. It's really, like... It feels really moisturizing, and it looks like it's really shiny and hydrating on the lips. Let's see. Ooh, I like that. Yes, this is definitely the everyday. I love those kind of rosy colors. It's not too bold, but it's a little bit of color, and I really like it. So let me know what you guys think. I really like the way it feels on my lips. It's really comfortable, and it feels really moisturizing. So... I'm excited to see kind of how that wears. I got a pair of lashes by Creme Shop. I saw if you watch, um, oh shoot, now I can't think of their name. Well, I watched some sisters on YouTube and they found some of these at TJ Maxx and it made me really curious to try them and I wanted to get some for my trip to Disney coming soon because I want to wear them uh, for the Halloween party and so these were on clearance, they were only two bucks. They're made out of 100% human hair which is kind of 
weird, but also probably normal for a good pair of lashes. I mean, you wear hair extensions that are 100% real. So anyways, I'm excited. They really look nice and fluttery and natural. So I'm excited to try them out. I hope I have lash glue. I guess I should have checked that out. Okay, and then the last thing I got, which is super awesome, but I'm not keeping it for myself, so I'm not gonna swatch it, but I got it to give as a gift. And they had a whole bunch of different palettes there. They had some Kat Von D palettes, and they had a Sephora palette, and maybe one other brand, but I got this one by Too Faced, and it was only $14.99, which is a really good deal for a palette and they said that the original price is 20 but I happen to know that these palettes run at least closer to maybe 30 35 mark if I'm not mistaken so this color is oh man I love it so I love these little palettes I really love the Too Faced palettes because the colors are really good quality and they're just the perfect little size to take places and they have a good mix of matte and shiny so look at you guys Look how freaking pretty that is. Look at those colors. I love it. So we've got like a couple of matte ones and a couple of shimmery ones. So that's really perfect mix. I kind of don't want to give it away, but I don't necessarily know that I will wear these colors. And so the person I got it for, I think will look really good in these colors. I'll match her skin really well and her hair really well. So. $14.99, that's a really good deal for a nice palette that you can get at Sephora or Ulta. So that is everything I found at TJ Maxx. There was a ton of stuff. I could have spent a lot more money, but I was trying to be good and get stuff that I would actually use. I don't know like what the return policy is for beauty stuff at TJ Maxx. So I wanted to make sure to get stuff that I was really gonna like because I didn't know if I could return it or not. Yeah, anyways, thanks for watching you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. You'll have to check your TJ Maxx and see what you have there. They had a lot of good brands there. And I'm definitely going to keep my eye out in the future. I'm glad to know that they're starting to get, you know, some higher end brands, especially MAC. I think that's really cool that they have MAC. The MAC stuff was definitely more on the expensive side, but still a lot more affordable than you could get it from the actual MAC counter. Well, that's it. I'm heading out. I will see you guys in my next video. If you're new here, please make sure to subscribe. I would love to have you join in on the fun. I do some unboxing videos, lifestyle videos, and sometimes a little bit of Disney. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.